Hey guys, Will here, and this is a requested tutorial for Dartex 6. Uh, it's also a tutorial I've been me meaning to make, but every time I did it, sometime somehow I did something wrong. So this is like the, the seventh time overall I've done it. Okay, so this is 5 by 6 if you're not including this glass shield. But, so it's 6 by 6. Uh, let me show you, this is the regular version I'll teach you. I'll teach you how to make three versions. Oh, by the way, uh, all credit goes to James if you want on the concept. So I'll teach you how to make the SMP kind of paddling version, which is what it's set at right now. Now I'll also teach you how to make the regular version, which I'll show you right now. This is the regular version. I gotta show you. This works regular, just quick, fast, easy. And then I'll show you the atom automatic version, which I will do right now. Here's the automatic version where you simply step in and nothing will go wrong, hopefully. Okay, so that's all three types. Let's cut to the chase and begin building it. In this tutorial, you will need a uh, stone, some sort of pickaxe, redstone, repeaters, redstone torch, a button, and both sticky and regular pistons. So to start off, we're going to do the wiring. We're going to place three blocks, like so, and then we're going to put redstone along the top. And then in the middle, you're going to go to the, you're going to go to the left, and no wait, in the back, you're going to go to the left, redstone, and then on the redstone thickness, you have a tiny bit right there, you're going to put a block, and then more redstone on top, and then more on the top of the redstone thickness, again, on top. And I'm trying to go quick here because I want this tutorial to be too long. I think I'm going too fast. I'm sorry, I'll try to put a couple of pause it here stops. Basically, you're going to do this formation all the way to the top. And it's going to um, switch back and forth, like so. And another repeater. Here we go. Don't forget to add the one tick to the repeater. A tick is a tenth a second or an eighth a second. I'm unsure. If anybody can tell me, thank you. And give me a source, too. Um, and then we're going to just keep doing this. Not, for the sake of the tutorial length, I'm going not to make it too tall. Okay. So, one more, and then we'll get to other wiring part. Okay, one more. And we've done the main wiring part. Then we're going to branch it off so we can work with pistons. What we're going to do is add one repeater there, block above that, repeater, and this is on the left side, block above that, repeater, and we're going to do this all the way to the top. Right. Okay. And then we're done because it goes as high as that. And then we're going to go out regularly, place blocks on the right of it, put some regular redstone on it. And then on the thickness of the block, we're gonna the thickness of the redstone we're gonna block. Like so. Oh, actually you can just make a pole fit. I'm not really smart. And then we're gonna do this pole thing on the other side. Like so. So it powers the block. And on this side we're going to make it correlate with the uh, repeater behind it. So it's like that. So it looks like that. So it'll be part of the redstone. And I'm going to add more blocks so it's correlated to it. And our repeaters all the way down. And then we're gonna have one delay to those repeaters. And we have the basic redstone wiring part ready. Now we add the uh, um, pistons. And if you look at yours, it should be a 5 by 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And then this will be the piston part. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So it should be 5 by 6. And then we're going to go over here on the left side or the lower side. I'm going to put two blocks out from it. Stair block. So it looks like this. And then we're going to put pistons all the way up. 
Okay. All the way up and then minus one. Like so, so this is all the way up and then minus one. And then, no, actually we're just gonna go up there, my bad. I'm gonna go all the way down again, we're just gonna not skip the bottom, I'm just gonna go all the way up. And now we're gonna skip the bottom. So you got this formation. And then we're going to every one skip the stair, starting with the bottom, live spike. It looks like that. And then on the opposite side, uh, it'll be the opposite, so stone will be here, so we'll have to stair blocks here. So if you look, they go back and forth. And then we're going to put blocks in between. And then we're going to add a button right there, right on the edge of it, to test it. And if you have a problem like I did, it's fine, because I forgot I got a step. Didn't I? Didn't I? Can this be working? Why is this going out through me? Move that. Yeah, remove that right there. That's that's only there for the automatic elevator, and that's the test. And I move this button. And then we're going to add uh oh we're gonna go under it, one under it. Like so. Two blocks and a space right there, and then you can go to the right of the block. Put a space there, and we're gonna have like this X, not at all an X and zigzag. Okay, and then we're gonna have this inverter line. Redstone. Redstone, out from it. I will uh, get across from that. Repeater. Redstone. Repeater is gonna face outward, okay? Wow, it just loves the rain line. Cool. And then we're gonna add a final block here, and then a button. And then we're gonna add stone here to block. And then to be safe, I'm gonna sleep you. Going to add a protective area. So. It can be glass if you want, I'm using stone for the sake of the tutorial. It goes all the way up to the pistons go. And then we're going to do another test. Make sure this works correctly. And it does. Then we're going to the top. Add some regular pistons. Right across, one up from the pit, right on the sticky pistons. And then we're going to put two blocks above that. Redstone on top of that. We're going to replace this redstone right here with a repeater. Stick it to four. And it's gonna go out to this block, which has redstone on it. Oops. That. And we're gonna do and make it so it's connected to here. And when you run redstone through this, push these out. Should do it the perfect time. So let's do a final test. And it pushes out perfect timing. I think it's as high as you want it to go. Uh, yeah, so now we're going to make it automatic. So let's get to that. First, we're going to remove these blocks right here, and also remove these blocks on, on the bottom. Replace the side that didn't have the stair block with regular stone. And then this side, going to add a piston, make it sticky. And remember when we added redstone here, and we check out the delay side. So yes, it's got to be on zero ticks on the bottom, but the rest have to be two. And then we're going to um, flip the repeater. Make like the same formation we did over there. So it goes up into this. Put stone right there. A regular piston, and we're going to put a pressure plate right across the piston. What this piston does is make sure you're not slightly out, so it should work now. So now it's more automatic. 
So what happens if we didn't have this piston here? Well, if you were like that, we'd get stuck. And we could get stuck inside there. So what this does is if you barely step on it, it pushes you all the way on it, so it works perfectly. Now we're going to make this uh, SCP friendly. It's back to its regular form. Do not forget to break that redstone right there. I'll show you back to its regular form. So now we're going to go to the back where the repeaters were that spiraled around. And we're going to set them to four ticks instead of two. So we're going to add right click it twice or make sure that it's on full. And then we're going to go on to the side without the stair block, or the side that had one tick to them, and add another. So, now it should, if there is a problem. Hopefully there won't be, but I'll try to fix it if there is. So now it's a lot slower, and if this still doesn't work for you, you're going to want to add another tick by going to where they meet in. And another piston. So it goes into here, add another piston, and then one tick onto it. Another piston, one tick onto it. Another piston, one tick onto it. So that I should have two, t uh, total of six ticks in between each level. And then back to the side without the stair block, or the side that had already the delay on it. I'm going to right click it again. And then go over here. Now it should be really slow. Oh, my bad. I think this has to be let's add some more delay on the top right here. Yep. So right here you don't forget the extra three ticks. Which add another total of eight so it's easier. So that's SP friendly. I hope this tutorial was helpful. Um, remember, once again, all credit to James B. Watt for the concepts. Great idea. <coughs> yeah, so that's pretty much it. Mm, yep. So if you like the video, comment or something, like interaction. Yeah, look at you. But okay, yeah. So that's that's it.